and then I'm just looking at her like I absolutely positively just cannot because I literally need it especially for this night shift hi everybody welcome back to my channel so I'm just coming back from the quickest three month follow-up appointment with my doctor I was there for longer than I normally am but then I realized that she had like a somebody she was training so that makes sense the next time I go back is in a month so um let me set a reminder for that I put in my calendar but honestly sometimes things are in my calendar and I'm so busy that I don't get to look at it so I'm gonna just add it to my reminders really 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 quickly tonight is my last night of orientation but um last night was so good last on break big chilling can't complain but I'm not working by myself so far I've drawn a lot of blood 10 maybe 12 but pretty good 30 minutes to go not too tired that I had about 10 or 12 blood draws some difficult sticks as well but it truly felt like I was working on my own because the preceptor that I had last night was she was really allowing me to do my thing. She was standing there and everything, but she really allowed me to work as if I was working on my own chart and everything, just the whole deal. Uh, appointment. I think tomorrow I wanna go to the laundromat across the street to just knock out some laundry because we don't have that much clothes to wash, 22nd. I think it's at about 2.30 p.m. she said. 2 p.m. we'll set the reminder for it was a really really good appointment um she was telling me oh you know make sure that you stay away from things like caffeine and i'm just looking at her like i absolutely positively just cannot because i literally need it especially for this night shift i don't know what would be keeping me away maybe i could try matcha honestly so maybe i should buy some more matcha powder because i'm gonna need something very much something so Amia, um, yeah, the the educators at work today, this morning I had to meet with them, collected my preceptor checklist, and basically told the manager for the floor that I am going to be working on it to make me a schedule because I'm basically done with my orientation tonight. Um, so I don't know how the rest of the week is set up, which day I'm going to be working or whatever. I don't really know, but I guess I will have to see. Oh, this is beautiful. I'm watching Lydia Dinga. She got married and it's so pretty. The dress is so pretty. Everything is so, so nice. She looks so cute. Oh, we love a happy couple. Oh, this is such a pretty dress. Okay, anyways, yeah. So, um, I, I ended up getting a printout because I had a pop spare recently. So, I had a printout because the other day I was watching a video on TikTok and the lady was basically saying every time you go to your doctor's office, make sure that you get a printout of like everything that you have going on for you. So if you're ever admitted to the hospital, then you're able to um, to give them a rundown of your history because sometimes, even though everything is electronic, sometimes contacting your primary care to get your everything is like a process. <laughs> Not me going through my, my entire... And I told them that I wanted um, so my blood sugar levels are very normal that's basically the only one I really know on here the range for the only one I really know on here but yeah so basically um the doctor that I was watching was saying that we should make sure that we you know get a printout so you know what's going on with yourself so if you're ever admitted to the hospital you know your your you don't have to wait forever to get care because it's taking your primary care a long time to get the information over to the hospital so I made sure that I got a printout today and um for the most part I think I'm gonna I'm gonna um chill let me tie this around my edges so that they can lay for tonight but outside of that that really is all that's going on this morning um my co-worker and I ended up stopping by a restaurant and she bought us food so I ate that for breakfast and I literally just slept because last night I, I tried sleeping but that didn't exactly go anywhere so I was just up so this morning I was a bit tired to say the least so um, when I came home I just slept I woke up in about an hour and I went back to sleep and then I woke up again and I went back to sleep again and then I finally woke up at about 12 1 ish and decided to stay up because I knew that I had my appointment coming up so so far, that's really all that we did today. Now, 
I'm gonna find something to eat and maybe watch some TV and then sleep again uh, in about three hours because right now it's three o'clock so maybe about six o'clock I'm gonna sleep again and then wake up to go to work because I think tonight I'm gonna be trying to take the bus to see what that's like because my friend does not work tonight and by the time babe gets home from work it's like too late it's a whole situation and I'm not gonna be taking the train because it's mad stuff going on there especially not that time of the night so we're gonna see what tonight has in store if anything I'm that person who, when I'm at a particular part of the way, if I get annoyed or I feel like it's not working out, I will literally just call an Uber, okay? And at that point, I would have been, like, closer to the destination anyways. So, there's that. But for the most part, that's what your girl did today. I ran some woman errands. I went to my doctor. Yada, yada, yada. Now we're here. So, yeah. Completed almost, what is this, 15 days of orientation. Today's the last day. I feel so frazzled out, but I also feel like the coffee that I drank earlier is making my blood pressure like a little bit high, making my head hurt. So I just took two, I'm a lot of pain, and it's almost time to go home. We have a good 45 minutes left, but everything is done. So, great. Orientation was a success. After going to work in the mornings for the last couple of years, having this switch where I'm coming home in the mornings it's kind of weird but it's kind of nice too because i'm well it's, well yeah it's kind of weird and it's kind of nice because um i get to do things that i probably wouldn't be able to do had i been going to work on the day shift but it also kind of jacks up everything because i'm sleeping all day well most of the day not all day long because i'm good at like waking up and like start doing things and then the next thing you know I can't even go to sleep at 6 o'clock when I want to. But it's pretty decent. You feel like you're truly home all the time. And when you do go to work at night, before you know it, it's time to go home.